Let's start over. She's standing on the street corner. Who did you meet where? Well, let's what? not explain my job. <laughs> let's, let's explain why you were standing oh, yeah, okay. on a street well, corner. Well, after all this deal with Fort Belvoir, a month or six weeks later, I got discharged from the Army, and I had to go to this special school in L.A., and I went there for two days and then quit. I got my Army discharge, and uh, I figured that's all I needed, so then I went back to Long Beach to go to the school there that I had gone to before I went in the Army. And drove up the first morning, and I said, "That girl on the corner, I'm going to have to meet her." A friend of mine, and that was Pam. And that would be you. <laughs> so I was bashful, and she was bashful, and it took us about three, or four days before we started talking to each other. <laughs> and we had a '57 Lincoln Premier at the time. No, I came, I came back from the army with all my money for I bought a Lincoln Continental from all my. Poker and low charging business. You had, a, you had a 57 Premier first, then you had a 59 Continental. I had a 59 Continental. Yeah. We wish we still had that car. That was that was, that was cool. We left that as a purple diamond, though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Why did you leave it at the purple diamond? Somebody else wanted it. <laughs> I don't know. I the mo the Hell's Angels took over the place, so we left. <laughs> the, uh, Oh, the transmission went out and I had another car by then. I had a new car that worked. A new car that worked. What are you recording with?